This is Zeno of Elia, the philosopher who had too much time in his hands. He gave out many paradoxes, and this is one of them, presenting to you Zeno's dichotomy paradox. Alright, do you know what a paradox is? It's something contradictory, something that's, you know, opposite, you know, and shit like that. It's, 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 to explain paradox is something paradoxical. Anyway, dichotomy means, you know, to divide in between, to, you know, like divide in two things. And you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, Zeno said that if you had to travel, okay, let me make that a straighter line, okay. If you had to travel between two points, okay, let's, for our sake, make it one kilometer. Okay, he said that if you had to travel from point A to B, you'll have to first travel half the distance. Okay, and for our context, this is half a kilometer. And then cover half of the remaining distance, which is one fourth of a kilometer. And again, the remaining half of the distance, which is one eighth of a kilometer, and so on. You get the pattern, right? If you magnify this, you'll see that there are infinite such half distances that you'll have to cover. And that means distance is infinite? Eh? And since time is, time depends on distance, time is infinite. Eh? And this is what Zeno said, that you'll have to cover infinite time and infinite distance to go from one point to another. All right. But then an intelligent man came along named Nibirus Sankaras and he said that Zeno, you're wrong. This cannot be right. And he gave an analogy. He said that if you believe that a line segment has an infinite length, you'll be a fool. It's not infinite. Your brain screams that it's finite, it's finite, it's finite. And you know. But someone or something came along, comes along and says that no, something is missing, my man. And Zeno did just that. He made a paradox. All right. Nibirus Sankarax gave another analogy to make things more complicated, of course. He said, imagine a square, and this is definitely not a square. Okay, this is better. Imagine a square with sides one meter, all right? Then its area will be, you know, one meter square, right? He said, let me divide it. Let me divide the area. And again, you know, by half, of course. And again, by half, again by half, again, and again, and again, and so on. He said, Do you disagree when I say that the sum of all these areas, okay, all these areas, all these areas equal to one meter square? Will you disagree? Of course not. Of course not. It will, it needs to equal to one meter square. Right? And this is what Zeno didn't know. That sometimes, sometimes, infinite sums have a finite result. And this is the representation of Zeno's paradox. This is the intuitive answer, right? You have the distances. You have the distances. And if you add them up, it will result in one you know, one kilometer, one meter square, whatever, it will be 100%, right? Okay, if you had to, you know, make things more complicated and say this very statement in a more mathematical way, you'll write a summation, right? You'll say that, um, let's take it equal to one, you'll say that in the expression, half to the power n, Okay, n equals 1. Okay, I didn't write anything here, but you know, you get the point here. As you add more of these things, okay, as you add the power 
of these things, it will result in one. That's what this statement is saying. All right. And you can also use limits, of course. I'll not get into the depth of it. But you know, like when a certain value goes towards a certain value, then it gets closer to another certain value. <laughs> you should watch some Khan Academy videos. Anyway, the expression 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power of x always results in 1. Why? Because as x, as x goes towards infinity, this expression, this expression gets bigger and bigger and the denominator gets lower, sorry, gets bigger and bigger, right? And thus the value gets smaller and smaller. Okay, it means uh, something like this. Okay, the value of 1 by 16 is less than 1 by 8, right? This is what it means. It The x gets, you know, like larger and larger. And so, so the value gets closer and closer to 0. And you know that 1 minus 0 is 1, right? And this is how you say that Zeno's paradox was a giant farce maybe he didn't know it maybe he didn't have such a mathematical knowledge of course things were not very developed but this is definitely something that one needs to think about and this is these kind of things you know develop the human brain and make things you know like as we know it today